Welcome to the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and these videos are aimed to make the private pilot checkride as painless as possible. The goal of the video series is to break down each task in the ACS in a way that is easy for the viewer to digest, regardless of experience level. Today's video is over the recent flight experience requirements of private pilots. We will be focused mainly on the flight review and the 90-day currency rules. These two subjects are covered in FAR 6156 and FAR 6157. Without any further delay, let's dive right into the flight review. So first off, what is a flight review? The flight review consists of a minimum hour of ground and flight evaluation and training. However, not everybody will want to go into their flight review expecting to be done in just two hours, as the time required will depend heavily on the applicant's knowledge level. The review is to be conducted by an authorized instructor over two main subjects. One of the main subjects is regulations. Think Part 61 and 91 for private pilot operations that apply to you for this subject. The second subject covers the maneuvers required to demonstrate smooth and safe control of the aircraft. It's safe to study the maneuvers as if you were getting ready to retake a check ride. We'll continue on with FAR 6156. The regulation states that no person may act as PIC unless within the preceding 24 calendar months that person has completed and logged completion of the mandatory flight review. It is important to understand the meaning of the term calendar month as you will see it used often in aviation. It can be explained with a simple example. Let's assume that our most recent flight review were completed on May 11, 2019. 24 months later would set us to May of 2021, and we would have until the end of that month to complete our flight review. In this case, our next flight review would be due May 31st of 2021. Upon completion of the flight review, don't forget to get your logbook endorsed before leaving. Now that we have covered the flight review, we can move on in our discussion to the PIC recent experience requirements for carrying passengers, commonly referred to as the 90-day currency regulation, which is covered in FAR 6157. The regulation states that no person may act as PIC of an aircraft carrying passengers unless, within the preceding 90 days, that person has logged three takeoffs and landings in the same category, class, and type if required aircraft intended to carry the passengers in. If the passengers are to be carried between one hour after sunset to one hour before sunrise, or nighttime, then the three takeoffs and landings must be performed and logged during the same period. If the three takeoffs and landings are to be carried out during those night hours or in a tailwheel aircraft, they must be performed to a full stop. You may be able to complete these tasks in an approved simulator. See FAR 6157 for more details on that. This concludes our video over recent flight experience. Thanks so much for watching the ACS Library. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking or subscribing. If you didn't, I would love some feedback. And if you know somebody who you think could benefit from this, I hope that you will all share it with them. Thanks again and safe flying.